Right folks, Effing Wild Camper here. So, just out tonight for a uh, hammock overnighty in my uh, new spot that I found at the weekend. It's a glorious day, but it has given uh, thunder tonight, so I've got my uh, 3x3 DD tarp and my DD hammock tonight. Should be all good. This is the new spot. It's pretty flat. Phones. Glass sunshine. Glorious. I'm gonna get get between these uh, two trees here. This one there. And uh, this one here. It's quite a decent gap. I bet it's about either 12, 13 foot so. I'm gonna put my me and put my um tarp between the diamond configuration. So yeah. Should be a good night. As you can see it's a, it's a nice spot this is. Well impressed with it. Glorious. Plenty of decent views. There's a big open space over there. On to a bit of a meadow. There's a few deer around here as well, so might get to see a few deer later on. Just gonna, uh, just going to pull these dead branches off. They are rotten, is it or not? As you can see, it's a uh, pretty brown inside there. It's not green at all, so not too destructive, I suppose. It's quite tough though. As you can see, got a nice pile of wood there. All dead branches from these birch trees. I use my uh, Laplander saw to cut them down with. <coughs> this one same. Left foot green stuff standing. So it's tarp time. Get this tarp up. Just gonna change the plan. I thought I'd uh, put my uh, ammo cup first. Uh, look over there, it's, it's not bad skies really for what they get. Run bad rain, so I might just uh, put my guitar halfway up and not bother with it tonight. I'm trying to have clear skies all night. There we go. Simple as that. Good, good by these uh, snake skins there. If you buy a big old hammock like this one, you can't make good snake skin to go over it. it makes things a lot easier. Just put the uh, old poles in there just to raise the uh, insect net up. I usually make sticks for these instead of carrying these poles. Make little uh, ones like wood instead, but I thought I'd uh, use these today to make a change. Was that? Maybe shot cord. Just 
into a knot. Get your bob up. Just a uh, simple knot like that. Should be fine. Should be fine. Put a little toggle through it like that. Just keeps it uh, from slipping through. This little trick as well. Get your loop over your cord, like so. You get a little twig. And pop it through like that. Just holds it in place and you can adjust it as well by pulling it. Pulling this, uh, this cord here with your toggle. It'll hold it in place that will. So there you have it. Sorted. Bed fuck neat. Moment of truth now. This is where it all claps on me. What tree comes down me. Can't believe it. This is the life, guys. This is the life. Sun shining. No solar bar. Just me. Spot on. in China so you too well that's better that's better <sighs> sorted so the time's soon flying by it's ten past seven already in the evening been here about an hour so far, so not doing bad really. We could walk down here. This how it goes. Oh. So got my uh, tarp here, strung up on this set on, on one of the corners. Ready to uh, deploy it if it does start to rain. Just undo this uh, carabiner here, undo the bag, and just simply uh, put my tarp up. And the tree over there. So that's uh, quite a cool idea that is, doing that. If it doesn't rain, it's already packed away for the morning. So uh, simple as that. Another little tip for you. I'm really starving, so we have a bit of food on soon. We've got to uh, a fell wanderer special, meatballs and uh, mashed potatoes. It's a uh, nice day for it. Better last time I came out. Not really rain we had.
Super mugs in. Roll mat. Need a new roll mat. This one's there, folks. Still wind outside. But it's a bit of insulation, so better than no, I suppose. Thinking of buying a, a thermarest. Any rec recommendations? Let me know. I only want the uh, three quarter length ones, not the massive. Full length. I think they're a bit too big for what I need. So this thing's at it. Doesn't even self inflate no more, so. That's pretty for the time being. Bought some uh, new kit as well. I bought a, uh, a water filter. With uh, a Soya Mini. I bought a Soya Mini water filter. So every time I come out in the morning, I always run out of water. So I thought I'd buy a water filter off, a, uh, off eBay. It went too expensive. About 25 quid, so. See, I've already used it once already. It's uh, a good bit of kit. I'll get to that show in a bit. Let's go a bit of kit down here, shall we? I'm bringing today. My uh, waterproofs. Have some water. More uh, my saw. Uh, my scrim net. Been it about four years this. Still like brand new. And use it all the time as well. I've got a fire log. It's to not to be gathering wood every two minutes to keep my fire going. She might burn for a couple of while while I'm asleep. My nogi, a drying towel, a bit of power cord there, my woolly hat, and some custard for my British Army uh, chocolate brownie later on. This is uh, my food for tonight. Got my uh, overnight ration kit there. A British Army apple drink from a Russian pack. A uh, flat trip for the morning. Chocolate brownie. British Army ration. And some custard to go with it. PCB cook set. Tin of soup. Some mashed potato and some neat rolls. So here it is. The uh, Fell Wanderer special. And it is really nice. I've tried it. Smash. With their Tees Valley meatballs. <coughs> oh, Damien, the Fell Wanderer. He makes it all the time, this, and he really enjoys it. You can tell by the way he eats it, <laughs> I suppose. And like he always says, we always need salt and, salt and uh, pepper and a bit of butter in your mash to make it, ta make it uh, taste better. And there's a bang on mark with that. Thing is though, now I'm uh, boiling my meatballs first in some water. Just to warm them through. Before they go to mashed potato. So there you go. So once this water's boiling, take my little packet out, put my smash in there, get my smash going. Got my BCB burner there. Get rid of this uh, screen thing. <coughs> My old made lid, made from a Poundland mess tin. There you go, lids on. Let's boil now. 
And uh, should be spots on that. That water's about there now. Should hear the boiling. Let's hope these uh, meatballs have warmed through properly. I should have thought so. Been there quite a while now, so. You've been there quite a while, about five minutes, just uh, warming through. It should be alright, that. Put the tripod there and we go put on it. Just a uh, time lapse sunset. Just uh, through them trees there. Not the best sunset in the world, but it's my first time. Yeah, I really like this camp spot. So far, so good. Oh, here we go. Water's boiling now. So I'll take these meatballs out. Just let them sit five minutes. Just uh, over here, took me. So I'm gonna get me smashing there now. Salt and pepper, a bit of butter. Jobs of fish. Get the butter in here. Just squirt it in. Wand. Some boy Moz is about to eat. Getting a bit to shit. There we go. Bit of margarine in there. Sorted. Jobs of fish. Keep me salty now. Bit of pepper. Instant mash. For mash get smash. <laughs> Look at that. So there it is. The uh, Fell Wanderer special. Looks gorgeous. I'm really hungry so I'm enjoy this. It's got to be one now. Let's enjoy the scenery. Listen to wildlife. Can't beat it. Spot on. Tell you what. Bloody gorgeous this. Spot on. Really filling. Tasty. Really nice. And cheap. That's about one pound. 20 meatballs are about one pound 60 you know you can uh, about play four portions in that little bag about four portions of smash mashed potato you know so yeah really impressed it's a winner Went to get the tree. Nice coffee. Spot on. Bloody up, man. Oh. oh, yeah. So, I uh, just bought a new camping companion the weekend, the last weekend. A uh, seven week old Russell. A <coughs> uh, Jack Russell pup. Little bitch. Female. That's uh, she's a very nice little thing. Can't wait to get her out. Once she had her jabs and uh, what have you. Get her chipped up. It's a uh, nice little thing. You get a lot of money for it, mind. Expensive things. It's not cheap, but. That's the best way, I suppose. If they're too cheap, they get bought, bought by uh, dickheads and that kind of thing. Badger, badger baiters and all that kind of stuff. You know, she's not, she's not from a working family or what have you. She's not a working dog. She's not been docked or what have you. It's just a nice little dog. So then, this is my. Uh, 
water, sterilisation, purification, little pack. I've got a really tight weave cotton bag off my wife's travel iron. It'll make a bang on mill bank bag. Cause it's basically the same type of material. And it holds 500 mils of water, so it's bang on really. And I've tried it and it works. And here's the uh, Soya Mini. 100,000 gallons. The uh, filter, filter will uh, clear. 100,000 gallons. That little filter. Got a little plastic bag there as well. And the straw. So we're uh, drinking from puddles or water sources where the bag won't fit in. Like I say, I've already tried it and it works bang on. No foul tastes. Water's pretty clear. Well impressed with it. Well impressed. You know, it'll last a lifetime. I also use uh, Stereo Tabs, but they taste like chlorine, as some of you may know. So, uh, yeah. I'll try and ask it morning and I'll show you. When I run out of water again, like I always do. Quite a neat little packet. And it all fits in this little bag. My uh, makeshift mill bank bag. And you can see it's uh, spot on that. You put a bit of a bit of cord in, a bit of power cord in this uh, pull tie because this entails garbage. Oh, bang on that, bang on. Welcome back guys. So it's uh, turning dark now. It's about ten past nine. We've got a small fire going. Down here, look. It's uh, no bigger than my foot. Just to keep these uh, mozzies down a bit because the lights half coming out now and biting me, so I thought get a small fire going, get a bit of smoke in the air, and uh, try and clear them down a bit. And try to keep this fire as small as possible, really. I'll try and see a bit of wildlife tonight. Just past that fence over there. That big, big meadow is. Yeah, there's uh, quite a few birds of prey around here. Buzzard and uh, a few owls. Like I said before, a few deer around here, road deer, so. I'm gonna try and keep my eyes peeled for them. Try and keep nice and quiet later on. Put some things down. I'll catch you a bit. Fantastic night. No cloudy sky. There's a few wispy ones, but nothing to uh, be worried about. This is the open meadow. Not seen it yet. But I've uh, heard a few things. There's a nice moon over there, fantastic moon. Really big. It's just behind clouds at the moment, so I can't really see it. It's a shame. It's an amazing moon. Full moon tonight. 
Hunter's Moon. That's why I'm out. I'm a whale for art. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, nice that is. Well, well, uh, tucked up now in my hammock. It's a pretty warm night, considering. It's about six degrees, I think, something like that. Got a clear sky above me. With no tarp up. I decided to leave it down. Just see how it works and how I get on with it. I'm expecting a bit damp in the morning, but hopefully this bag should uh, hold it off. So, yeah. It's about 8 11 now. So, we head down, get some kip. And uh, get up early in the morning. And then get packed up. Home and take my old take my kids to school. First thing, because it is a uh, might have Wednesday night tonight. I've been off work, so it feels really weird going out on a weekday, not on a weekend. Uh, spot on. So I'll uh, see you in the morning. Morning campus. Well, not a bad night really. We're cold enough for it to be though. First time of year. About five degrees last night. We'll check it now. Seven degrees. Seven degrees. And it's just end of spring, so a really cold back though. Blue roll back. Oh yeah. I have to get a new new roll mat. So back keeps getting cold and getting cold spots on it, so Apart from my bag, I'm not I'm pretty warm. But there you go. We'll get up and uh, get packed away. Get a coffee on. I'm gonna collect some water first though. So I've run out of water. <laughs> I'll get up, collect some water, get off home, I'll make a brew, get off home. Took my lot to school. So I'll uh, catch you in a bit. Well, I didn't use my tarp. It stopped there all night. Sorted. All packed away now. How much come down? My uh, fire scar there. Cleared all the uh, ashes away and just put a few sticks over it for the time being. But yeah, been a nice night. I'm gonna try and find some water now for a drink. Just over there somewhere, it's a little run off. See, this is my little fire lay. Just, just bare soil now. Shape put a few branches over it. Off we go. I think there's someone camping around here somewhere because I can smell some uh, smell some birch bark. Some birch wood's been. So I think someone's camping down uh, this way somewhere. Found some water here. So I'm going to get my so yeah, bag out and uh, fill the bag up just for a quick drink. It holds about 500 mil, so there should be plenty of that for it home.
it does look quite clear but that's never a good sign of clean water so what 500 mils in there just under should be fine that just stop for a quick rest water. I'm going to show you this filter. So what you do is, this side screws to the bottle and you flow arrow over there. And this side you drink from. If it's any uh, or most pop bottles, you screw it on, like so. It's good to go. Instant clean water. If it weren't clear chemicals or heavy metals, it only, only clears bacteria and viruses and obviously foreign objects. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. If I'm wild camper out.